to a certain extent, the stand lane, right? Because Oli, yeah, you can heal him up, but he's gonna be working overtime, and maybe even now, 23, taking quite a bit of damage. Forced to turn around, stun Yota, good discipline, holding on to that magic missile, but that's what the Fortic Shield is for, Oli. Keep his carry alive, and they should be able to get him out. I say that! The last reach through Drake and Jotun. Get it done! Every single kill that you give him helps him propel into that early agony so even the charge is quicker. Oh no, they're starting to run down Palos. Jotun, they spotted a TP out in the mid lane and they're just gonna aggress onto this Meepo. He just sent a charge, he just did! I think that's kind of the trickiness that we're seeing. Early on, Sven was still able to keep up. Uh, but now Jotun, they are keeping up. They're right on top of him. Last few auto attacks, great net again from Palos, but he is dropping so low, jabs with the briefcase, might just find another, wants to get Palos, last touch is there, oh, actually doesn't manage to fire off that auto attack, but Q will clean up shop there. I mean, it goes to show, we were talking about the bench having a new game, yeah, maybe the team fights, but it's early lane, it's rough, beautiful rotation from both supports to try and punish Agent Amel here, but yeah, I mean, Agent or not, he's just gonna... He's gonna get smacked down. That's just a byproduct of the Slada. But these mid Sladas, they are immediately rushing the shard after the blink as unfortunately Oli can resist it. Dead up here in this top side. Left alone to try and set the XP and gonna get converted upon by four members. Make it five if you count Palos' little buddy there. Instead, the focus is going to be trying to flush Jet out of this bot side. They know he's in the area, so this is a very, very dead Elder Titan. Easy thing off death kill for Drake, finishes him off, and Jabs goes down. I mean, we've got so much armor and death problem right now, like, cannot burn her down as fast as you like. Still gonna try though, silence out, boss too. He's holding the front lines for now, but where is the backup Yahweh? A bit worried about committing into this area, the sun comes out, 23 TP again. They have just the response though, and the swap, it's off cooldown. Yotan fishes poor Cuckoo out of there. Meanwhile, Drake's still being run down, and the Rolling Thunder is still going. Cuckoo, he might have that damage reduction, but in comes 23. The Minus Armor is pretty insane onto Armel though, beautiful play break to just to split up the fight, but Palos, he's right there. The heals Ollie, he's keeping Armel alive, and another beautiful Storm Hammer, but it's not gonna be enough. Jab has finally showed up to fight, but is this Elder Titan gonna be able to change things? The huge crit onto the poor Palos people. Yahweh will finish off Q, but they trade what feels like four for two there. And very successful fight for Aurora. And Aurora, if you go on their cores, they are gonna rotate heroes in. It's not, <laughs> it's very simple. Excellent discipline here from Oli, but it's not gonna amount to much. He has the borrow time, and they aren't even able to pop it. Amel coming towards the ball, and it's a beautiful stop on the free lens for Austin Time Jam. There's his Agnum Scepter, they hold Kuku in place, and they absolutely smack him down. Amel will set up another. He might have turned invisible. Do they have the detection? Doesn't seem like Oli and Q can close the distance and find any sort of a dust or a sentry, but they'll wipe out two, answer right back, and now they're the ones working down this tier one. The jab and his Agnum Scepter completed, and he just comes in and slaps them down. Yeah, I mean, oh, 23 is being a slapping, forcing the Mega Meepo out, Palos with that timing. This was supposed to be Darling's moment of power, but they're letting it slip away a little bit. Here comes Jabs, Magic immune and ready to absolutely fight. The swap can't even come out in time. Yotan, he wasn't expecting that. But Jabs, he's gonna be swapped out the high ground, he's fine there, he's in position of safety, he'll run out onto boss too. But here comes Armel with the shield flash. Single step into what? You are getting obliterated right now. The Elder Titan is just crushing them under his foot. You gotta give a shout out to 23 as well. He did so much damage in that fight. That's exactly why they picked the now. Jabs, he's kind of farming a bit far forward. It seems like Oli can close the distance in time and he'll get bashed down. I no. think that this is happening. Oh, he's gonna spot the Twin Gates being channeled. They'll offer himself up and sacrifice him by that little bit of time. But he isn't the tank yet. In comes Q, breaking it up. Now Palos in some trouble. You don't have mana on Armel to get the Rolling Thunder off though. Oli will pass him a nice little no Lotus. Seems like Aurora will just filter it, pop the God Strength. Clean this one up for themselves. Nothing much to do about it. Hey, he can't. Surely not. He's waiting around Q. Not in time, just a little bit late. And he might just pay the price for that Yahweh. Little bit off on the timing. He's just gonna get smacked down 23. For Batrider Core, where you go like uh, Refresher, Octarine, E Blade, Kaya, as uh, right now Q, he's just going in. Boss the net up. Aggressive, aggressive move, but the setup is there. Yotan should be easy pickings here. Swashbuckle comes through as Meepo able to escape thanks to the poof away. Devastating. That is the enemy that you really want to be able to fight with. That's so important against this lineup as well. Yeah, I, I mean, Palos, he's just 
gonna get less so your bench is dead and there's no stuff available Palos is just gonna be easily picked off the Aurora lineup just crushing their opposition now Drake the Gossamer's Kate will keep him alive for half a second Right, the, yeah. the big ones, like the Grimstroke, the Bane, these heroes just know, don't really see tight. play. Beastmaster yeah. as well, like, there's nothing in it. You, Ollie, reaching the front line, boss who tries to walk up to the high ground, but this is not where you want to be! You're on the wrong side of the map, my friend, and you don't have any save, I say that. Yota still manages to get the swap out, but it is not gonna matter. The shield crash finishes him off, okay. and they'll clean up the Vengeful Spirit while they're at it as well. No mana on 23, no problem, it's just like the attack damage, it's just through the roof. Yeah. I don't know that successfully. I don't know. I, I mean, Gabby, maybe, but he's kind of very different style of maybe. They're trying to push out the high ground now. Q, it's some trouble. Solar Crest himself and Ollie, no mana to save him. So he might be in some trouble now. Aegis, there comes Jam, so you gotta be so careful of that man. You know he's standing a business. Boss pops the BKB. Uh, 23! He just turns around the boss pool. I'm not sure whether this is a fight you want to commit into, though very low mana on everybody on Aurora, and the troops are back up instead. But the question is, can they? So hex him up before he can get the roll off Armel. Please get that picked off. You'd love to find more Palos. He's still on the hunt. Bring the Meepos out. Japs should be able to skirt his way out of there, especially the move speed coming out from that spirit. He will just scurry on out. This person, though, Palos, they don't want to let him go. He's yet to really find the connections that he needs in this fight. Cute. Oh, cute. Oh. It doesn't oh, matter. It's fine. It's fine. They got like, they got like <laughs> two ways to pull him back, and Cuckoo yeah. dies up here in this top side, feeling a little bit too comfortable. Power. Force the glyph out. Now, they are on the high ground, and they need to watch out for the swap, though. That's something that's detectable to the Yota. But you can't swap 23. Yeah. Start dragging out Drake, doesn't set the cards. Meanwhile, Armel doing the Armel special, literally controlling everybody else on the team. Now, Boss 2 is in trouble, pull him back, and he doesn't really have a way to stop his red save. Yota, he's being forced completely out of the fight from Armel alone. That's our guy right there, starting to slice up onto Yahweh, Boss to buy back out. Boss 2 trying to come back into the picture, but there's no way for him to be in. The, the family photo's completely full, you're out of here, Boss 2. Slice down, that's a die back, and then from out of the fight. For what feels like forever, and they don't stand a chance, darling. I wouldn't be surprised to see the GG. There it is, Hello, yeah. two pets out. Aurora overwhelmed their opponents in this game number one. I think it's safe to say we're probably not going to be seeing the Meepo again, especially when you're on the cusp of being knocked out into the lower bracket. Just give your players what they want. Give them what they're comfortable on. For good reason. Okay. Now set up on the 23, they will connect and do a lot of damage. Found Ollie on a rotation back to the jungle to try and find a creep, but uh oh. Coming back in with the Pyco Raider, 23 gonna turn around, nice Lotus, Bosco in some trouble, last touch the armor, is it enough, they're trying to find him in the tree line, but slippery little watermelon, able to just dive his way out of there, now Ollie will spot him out finally, the auto attacks, oh look at that Pyco Raider, cutting him off, can he get the body blocks, a little Akon shot evasion, but it's not gonna be enough. Out of the 35 <laughs> games he's played, with an 80% win rate. Oh, Drake's still gonna get the kill though. Not respecting the blast off, sticks around too long. That's a bit greedy, but that's not gonna stop. Ali gets another. I'm the carry now. How dare you disrespect my 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 album? <laughs> level four. He's on level this four, dude. <laughs> Bottom lane for quite a long that time. Ogre Magi, awesome. he is not the fastest hero. Oh, Amel. Because he's got to make some sort of great retreat dude, here. Amel is on the hunt. There's no retreating. They found him. LSA up the Kotho, but they have the blast available. It's not gonna connect, but it doesn't matter. Armel finishes off Palos. I think in recent times we've seen a lot more Chen in favor of the Um As they set up on the jabs here, it's gonna be a good pick off for them to get, but the sun isn't actually gonna connect. Jet turns around the spear, and with the walls of the arena, now things are troublesome. Last off, but the lift up is there. Q fishes him straight back in, and Armel gets that freebie. Now they're chasing off the Yahweh as well. Oh, not again. No, you're gonna, you tell me this guy's oh gonna find God. a stun? Lucky silence, and a bit too quick, but the solar fine, you need a jaunt away, yeah, you can't play around. They're still trying so to chase slow. Him. Yeah, they're trying to make it to the rune. Okay, Yahweh, he, sh he should be fine here. He'll make it back to the safety of his tower. The city bomb? No. No. <laughs> that almost was a kill on the pot. Like, how is that? Yeah, it was. Hallows, Laguna Blade available, the setup is there, and Jabs. Nice spear back to keep himself up and running for only a little bit. This man is in some trouble. Jabs will try to play cool, you know. Maybe they've given up the game here. Armel just appears right behind him. Palos. Bye-bye, buddy. Dagon and Armel is dominating. Little. Yeah. 
23. With this Radiance, it feels like he's ready to get active. You pop out the Dream Coin, start doing a bit of damage, but you're running into the hole of Aurora. Armel being there during daytime. This is not the territory you can afford to fight in. Yotan will try and fog him. Trying to set up the LSA, but beautiful pullback. Yotan doesn't stand a chance. The Ogre Magi takes a tumble. Arena slightly off the map there. Does the catch out of Kylos as Yowei trying desperately to get away. Successful in doing so. Yeah, Yoe currently top of the net worth right now for his team. Actually, I mean, what, what can you turn it into though? That's the question. Maybe a 23 kill. Amplified damage rune. Really, really effective. He needs to get out of here. Try to turn around the stun Dagon. <laughs> Yoe out of nowhere. Drake trying to get the setup for the blast off. But can't connect. It's a beautiful blinding light. And can stick him up, finish up 23. Doesn't seem like it. you need to get out of the proximity mines. Drake is able to seal the deal. But this is looking like an RML triple kill if you ask me. Spear out. And the last touch. This keeper of the light is dominating. No pango, no problem. Want to finally pay some attention. I say that. Maybe they're just going over. Yeah, oh, beautiful set up into the spear! Oh, you couldn't have asked for anything better, Jabs! He knows how to get things done, that's for sure. Jolton trying to lead them towards those mines, but she ruined on Jabs, literally untouched. Okay, so Drake having some troubles, unfortunately, with his connectivity. Hopefully that uh -oh. gets sorted out in a little bit. Important for this player as well. This, is, this really is the first time that he is... I guess in a way, getting the chance to showcase himself on a larger platform. He's no stranger to these qualifiers before, but I sure hope he's able to de uh, sort out this issue. But at the same time, it's like if you lose your chance like this, it, it, it's got to sting. Like it's, uh, <laughs> it's messing with them. Mm, I think, come on, come on, yeah. Give her one minute to Team Darling. Okay. No, <laughs> no, 23 <laughs> says no. <laughs> 5,000 peso per minute. Crazy. Don't give, 23 sorry. is not holding any punches though. He's like, Dude, no. 20... Looking at a uh, just a Dota screen, you're looking at beautiful faces. Actually, instead. look. Actually, I don't know because I'm reading this in-game chat. Kind of goes hard. I'm sure the That's viewers true. might appreciate That's that. True. They're still talking about what kind of exchange they want to make for pause time, whether it's Gcash or whether they want to, um, you know, get some kind of transfer going. What? And while it, but it will be an unfortunate way to end the qualifiers. Rules are rules, right? And yep. you, you kind of. <laughs> Dude, you guys are missing out on this in-game chat. Cuckoo just said, because uh, there's four minutes left. Jabs, like, yeah. basically, Cuckoo and Jabs, I think, gotta be some of the most prolific Southeast Asian captains. There's not much else, right? And you think about that, they lose, and then they go to the lower bracket, and where everybody expected Neon to be, there's Blacklist, Cuckoo's old team that he was captaining, that didn't really work out for him on the past five. That's uh, that's that would be an unfortunate way for Team Darling to go out for sure. Yeah, it would would be quite unceremonious, maybe. <laughs> okay, chat is uh, chat is letting us know that Drake did not pay for his like electricity in time. Uh oh, <laughs> Cuckoo just said, oh, Cuckoo just said we can unpause. I'm bored. I'm bored. Oh my God, they're actually they're unpausing. I yeah, they're actually just going. They're just probably gonna control Drake. I, I mean. We're back in the game, ladies and gents. We can make a lower bracket. I came in and played Dota today. I don't know about you guys. Aurora will take this opportunity. They know it's a 4v5 and just continue crushing it in the mid lane. Armel picks up another easy one. You just kind of need to look at him every 20 seconds. Plays the proximity mine so that they dive that area, they're troubled. They get troubled. Blue school. Getting a blast in the back of the head. Blinding light pulling him back into their clutches as well. Still is very tanky, but they should be able to work him down. The stolen fire blast and the last spear jabs will kill off his counterpart. Come and pick that one up. Yep, captain's right. Yep. All these players coming up from the tier two scene, they're just trying to make a name for themselves. And I'm sure Cuckoo's just looking around, but the fact that you might lose this opportunity just because of something like this just has. It is. Uh, help him out. Another pause coming out. Two minutes. Looks like we might be seeing Drake Ooh. come back. Good news coming. Okay, okay. Boss Koo got the page. Uh, two he's, more minutes. He's no longer bored. He's like, fine, I'll give you two minutes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Nah, 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 nah. Just a little. Just, he was, just, the make, good he was old... just making sure they were good. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to just stand and fight against all these stuns. Oh, they found the Lina in the mid lane. Kalos, boss about the BKB. Can he get out of here? Too much damage! Stolen Laguna! That is not what you get. want to give over to Q. And they'll just melt you down. Kalos out of the game for 60 seconds. You need to make a move on the side of Darling. But where's your Tide Hunter? Nowhere nearby to drop a Ravage. 
Finally shows his face coming in now. Finally, first ravage of the game, only on the Q. They're trying to bust down the Rubik, but he's completely fine. The bomb has come down, but Drake goes down as well. Bosku, he's in the middle of all of them. They need to make a great escape. Hidden away into the fog. It is nighttime and can't spot out their opposition. 23 walk it. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, but can. he's just like, I'm busy. Sorry. Uh oh, Japs getting set up by Yue here. And. Fine, I think they'll be able to finish Jets off at the very least. Kuku gonna try and come through and get it done. Lotus fed to him by Ollie. And this guy with the MVP for sure. Yu Yui still trying to change it, but all oh, the lift straight into his own death. They don't stand a chance. And Jets survives. The tip comes through. Yothan gonna get melted as well. Any sort of high ground defense you're trying to mount will have to wait for 42 seconds. Pretty much the only thing you're working with right now is the mines and the Luna Blade. Yeah. They're gonna come in with the blast off. They're trying to set up on the alchemist, but you don't stand a chance. They're like, oh, no chemical rage. They still have the rest of their team. There are 27k gold lead ahead of you. Parallels can do nothing but run. The Enchantra just completely clipping his HP. Can't help but feel like this is the beginning of the end. I mean, where Aurora aren't just grouped up together. I think the opportunity where 23 is on the high ground alone, but no. Nope. So quickly to respond. So is Palos. The Abyssal reveal and Palos is out. One minute, the timer grows ever longer. You might have a ravage, but you can't even pop it. This game's over. Yeah, it's it. GG. Yeah. You can, you can respect the 